My name is Sam Glebe. Dr. Hunt's practice. And I'm not a healthy man. To put it bluntly, I'm dead. And when I talk to him, it's like he's dead to the world. We're all dead. Sam Glebe to see Dr. Hunt. It's just no one will believe me. Looking at your medical history, there's no previous evidence of mental illness. <laughs> I should explain how things got like this. It was the summer of 2001. See, Mark, I hope we can still win the science fair. That's what she said. <laughs> and there were zombies. <laughs> the zombies took over each major city one by one. The virus worked its way down the food chain until all living species were zombies. With nothing left to eat, and thus no purpose, they quickly became despondent and yearned for a more meaningful existence. They found it. I guess. Well, hello there, my good man. Winter is coming, and you need a plan, see? What's your name, pal? Dave? Mind if I call you Frankie? Listen here, bucko. You look like the kind of man who needs some insulation. Keep you warm in the winter, see? Mind if I come inside? Awful cold out here, see? What? Mind you. Awful cold inside, too, without insulation, see? <laughs> Okay, I can talk to you. Not one, not two, but three titanium blades for your closest, manliest shave yet. What are you doing? We're all dead, you morons! Please remain calm, sir. What is wrong? Why are you doing this? Are doing a what, sir? We're all dead for Christ's sake! We're all dead! Ah! Ah! Please, main calm, sir. I am trying to pepper spray you. Shit. How could not a single person remember being alive? Or the five year zombie invasion, for that matter? My mind raced. I came to the conclusion that this kind of mass stupidity could only be the response to some sort of brainwashing technology. A conspiracy! And now I stopped being so melodramatic and tried to bury myself. Hey! Hey! What in the nine hells are you doing, son? If there is a Hellfather, this is it. 
We're abominations. That is irrelevant, son. Jesus loves you. What? Jesus loves me wherever I am. Correct. I, and Jesus loves me whatever I do. His love is unconditional. Well, there's my problem. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, child. I don't follow. Well, Jesus will love me if I kill a man. Yes. Oh, and Jesus will love me if I forcibly eat a man's brains, turning him into a monster of unspeakable evil, hell-bent only on the further eating of brains and human flesh. If, if you say you're sorry. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I really can't get behind that, Father. You are clearly an unstable individual. And so I was rushed through a battery of doctors and professionals. How, does that make you How was your relationship with your father? How are your chakras? Naturally, I was diagnosed with Cotard's delusion and sent to see Dr. Hunt. So I'm glad to see Dr. Hunt. So here we are. Ach! But due to the severity of your condition, I can only suggest electroconvulsive therapy. Your delusions will dissipate and the memory will cease to exist. But I don't want to forget. I'm not sick. Let's say you're not. Do you really want to go on hate in the world? Is it not better to live in ignorance and be happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>